Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to a special little video, short one, um, only because, A, this is my second time recording it, and B, um, <laughs> I'm also just, there's not much to talk about. So, I got into the Discord Store Beta. Um, as of this moment, there's really not much to talk about, uh, but there's a few things I want to bring up. Number one, right at the bot, right, right, right at the beginning. I was trying to figure out how they were going to compete with Steam. Um, I will say this. Um, visually, I like it. Um, obviously, they don't have many games right now, so there's no search options. I can see them quickly being placed around here or even around here or along the top. I like that. Um, I like the aesthetic. Um, I can see some sort of recommendation system where you can opt in or out of it. And it will basically um, tell you, hey, um, the following friend is in, you know, group well, two, three, and five, uh, six. Um, he also plays, or she also plays, the following games. Would you be interested in them? Here you go. And it'll show you the games. Um, that will be interesting. Number two, I like how when I hover over a tile of a game, the description still stays there. And it's a video of the game. Unlike Steam, which I'll pop over here, I hover over something and it's a basically a PowerPoint presentation. It shows me its overall reviews and how well it is. And right now I know it's a positive, but 21 people have viewed it. Down here, little tiny bit of writing here, is the price. Scroll down a little bit where the special offers are. Um, I said I wasn't interested in this, but as you can see here, Prices are not usually out in the forefront. They're usually kind of lowered down and kind of pushed out of the way a little bit. And they're always, it seems like they're just something they think about after the fact. They're hoping that you click on it, see some videos, see some things, and then look at the price. Where with the Discord, the price is right up at the beginning. And it's all like right there in front of you. No questions asked. Um, right there it shows you, for example, they're all Windows based, which is good. Um, yeah, I like it. I actually like the feeling and I like the look. I like the aesthetic. There's room for growing. As, like I said, there's lots of options up here to throw in for filtering, like, uh, you know, $5 games. Everything you're seeing is in Canadian, by the way. Uh, $5 games, $10 games, 20 30 100 whatever. Um, putting in some sort of filter. For, you know, strategy, role-playing, uh, role, um, you know, um, like a Metrovania-style uh, game, like uh, Dead Cells here. Oh, I can see that. Or like I said, kind of like how there is the option, um, I think it's the the queue here. I can see spot for that as well. Very, very good. Where it looks at people that are on your friends list. Looks at whose rooms are in what, or who's in what rooms. Um, opting in and out, of course, of them seeing that information. And, uh, you know, throwing some games at you. Now, one of the things I found a little funny here was, for example, um, Starbound. Starbound $16.99 on Steam. So you figure they want to push you to Discord, right? They're like, hey, we want to get you into our, our store. We want to get you to buy stuff from us, not Steam. Well, it's $16.99 here as well. Um... So I was thinking, okay, well, maybe they're trying to push the developers. So they're probably going to charge the developers less. So the developer makes more money. So right now, Steam, on average, charges $0.30 cents on the dollar for every sale, whether it's basically as long as it's purchased through their service or through their system, it's $0.30 cents on the dollar. So it's game, DLC, uh, add-on packs, currencies, whatever. If it's purchased through Steam, $0.30 cents on the dollar. So I was figuring, okay, well, they don't have as much of a, of a market. They don't have as much um, for people to see in regards to the fact that, you know, Steam is all over. Nowadays, you buy a game, it comes with you having to install Steam, right? Well, Discord doesn't have any of that. So there's no let's say, exposure to Discord. Um via unless word of mouth basically with that in mind i figured they would charge the developer less maybe 15 cents on the dollar 
maybe 20 cents on the dollar, 10 cents on the dollar. No, turns out they're charging them 30 cents on the dollar as well. Um, not too sure how that's going to work. Because to me, honestly, if I was a developer, even an indie developer, and I was like, okay, so the game's ten, uh, the game's ten bucks, so three dollars of every sale will be going to Steam. On Steam, we have a projected sales of say four hundred. Well, that's that's forty thousand dollars, minus three hundred dollars to uh, to Steam. That's pretty good. Well, this Discord's new. What if, what if we sold on there instead? Because all that stuff's on there. Well, it's new. It doesn't have the big as big as market. So we're planning on spelling maybe spelling selling maybe ten thousand units. Well, they're gonna charge less money. We might actually end up in the end earning more money. Well, no. Let's uh, we we're gonna lose three hundred. We're 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 gonna lose thirty dollars that way as well. Or uh, yeah, we're gonna lose thirty cents on the dollar there too. So other than that, I think it's a good good little system they've got going on here. Um, when you install or have a game added to your library, it shows up here, your activity. It shows up really here, friends and all that stuff. Really good, your friends list, no big deal. Store, obviously. But what I like is a few things. Number one, um, since Discord is still in actual development, they have the Nitro program, which was pay a certain amount of money every month to support them. Now, there's a way for you to be rewarded by that, which is the Nitro system, which gives you a whole bunch of free games every month, which I like. I think that will be something that will bring people into the system where it's like, wait a minute, I paid $5 a month or $50 for the year, which is cheaper, by the way. I could get Super Meat Boy for free, Darksiders 2 for free, Metro Light for free. Uh, uh, last light for free kingdoms new lens for free all these games i think there's a total of what 12 or 13 uh 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 games right now for free i didn't play a hundred something dollars for uh for um uh xbox live and that's about as much we get three games a month for free which almost ends up being the same amount in the end are you gonna like them all probably not are you gonna play them all probably not but you're supporting them and they're giving you free stuff now is this gonna be the same games constantly forever and maybe they'll add one game every two months three months six months who knows but I like that there's some sort of repaying people for supporting the development of the whole thing um overall i like it i like the library as well you can scan your library even if you don't have anything purchased through their store so everything i have right here is from my steam library uh installed and it scanned it automatically i just hit scan um and it immediately added all the games from my steam library like it knew it immediately went to the steam library and immediately, i didn't do anything i just clicked it and everything just popped right up I was kind of, I was actually very, very impressed. I think in the back end, it looks for um, Blizznet, it looks for Origin, it looks for GOG, and it looks for Steam. I only have Steam installed on my new PC, but I will be going with, or I will be reinstalling Origin very soon, and uh, Blizznet very, very soon to get those games up and running. But, I digress. Um, overall, I like it. Um, you can launch games pretty easily from here. You literally just hit play, and boom. Your game launches pretty easily, pretty fast, pretty quick, and that's it. Um, thumbs up, actually. I, I like this, though I wish there was a way to change the way this looks. Kind of like how Steam, you can have your library like this. You can have it so that it's the icons or if it's all just the pictures. I definitely would like something like this maybe, where it shows you the picture of the game, all that stuff, or even this one, where it has your information on the left. Well, let's add you back to our favorites. 
But anyways, where the games are on the left, and then there's an overall thing of news and stuff like that. I wouldn't mind that. It even says here, Steam, all the way down. Oh, there's my two Origin games right there. Never mind. I just need to install uh, BlizzNet. But anyways, overall, I gotta admit, I definitely give them a pass on this for now. Um, I like it. I think it's a good idea. I think there's lots of lots of potential. Whether that potential is reached or not, we'll have to see in time. Uh, we'll take a look at this again in about three or four months when uh, it's been out, and uh, we'll get a good idea. Leave a comment down below if you think anything should be done to this thing. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.